Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right. As I talk through all this music, hopefully I don't have no problem monetizing this video because you know how YouTube is with background music that you have no control over. Hopefully the hopefully they can't make out what's being played but anyway at the end of the day let me talk about anthony davis you know if you wonder why people question him and question his leadership possibility ability and whether he'll be big time in the playoffs and wonder if he's what you would call a franchise player is because of situations like these at the end of the day when you play for uh, one of the NBA's most historic and prestigious teams like the Lakers, they expect big time results. They don't want to hear no excuses. They they pulled it off with Kobe. They pulled it off with Shaq. They you know they pulled it off with Kareem, Magic, James Worthy, all those type of dudes. So at the end of the day yes they were short lebron james but this was anthony davis time to be like okay you know what let's get it yes anthony davis scored 32 points maybe he should have went for 40 you know if the team ain't making shots are they having a bad shoot night this is when you say you know what i'm gonna put the team on my back and i'm gonna lead us to victory Kobe Bryant did that throughout his career post Shaq so at the end of the day yes they was minus LeBron James but this was Anthony Davis time to shine and prove and this is contract year for Anthony Davis and prove like hey whether we win or not it ain't on me and see this is what I'm talking about this is why Anthony Davis if the Lakers don't win he's gonna be the scapegoat mark my words it's coming He's going to be Nick Rong's go-to guy to blame. And Anthony Davis, he got to he got to perform. Whether it's fair or not, when you play for the Lakers, as I said, it is no excuse. The fans don't want to hear it. The Laker apologists don't want to hear it. And the anti-Laker fans don't want to hear it. And I'm not anti-Laker, I'm just NBA. Period. But yeah, this is a fair assessment I'm just calling it how it is that's the pros and cons when you play with LeBron man this is why people don't line up to play alongside LeBron because of situations like this this your boy Town Biz let me know what you think I'm out